Hey, it's Adina Menzel here. You want to come for a tour of my closet? Doesn't always look like this, but I knew you were coming, so I cleaned it up a bit. It does usually have sort of my <laughs> sequin area because I like to save a lot of my costumes and my looks from my performances because they really mean a lot to me. So is this, is this right? Yeah, does that look like it? Yeah, I think the colors have changed a little through the years. This was for Carnegie Hall. It's a huge milestone for me to actually get to Carnegie Hall. I think I had these pants underneath and then I took off the skirt at some point and then I was like snazzy in my, in my sequins. Oh, and this is one of my favorites. This is like the Jetsons or something. This is what I wore on my tour a couple of years ago and the tour culminated at Madison Square Garden, which was a dream of mine ever since I was a little girl because I grew up in Long Island and everyone cool played at Madison Square Garden. And so to finally get there was pretty awesome and it had these crazy, <laughs> these crazy shoulder pads, but they're good because then they make your waist look small. This, which actually never saw the light of day. I wonder why. <laughs> it's, it's pretty awesome. It's one of those, you know how I always talk about with Encore that all your pieces kind of go together and you have your foundational pieces. You know, this is one, mix and match. <laughs> On this side of my closet, I've been putting all of my Encore designs, which is really exciting to see it sort of come to fruition and it's starting to all really tell the story that I've always wanted it to tell, which was that being in my closet caused me a lot of anxiety and making choices and how to put things together without the luxury of having a stylist in my day-to-day -day life actually was, um, I, it's like I just didn't enjoy it. You know, I never saw myself as a fashion-y kind of girl that knew how to put looks together. I knew that I had to kind of solve this issue for me and stop feeling so insecure about how I put myself together. What's really meaningful to me and kind of emotional is to have a brand that embraced my own kind of sensibility, which wasn't all this. The real me is running my kid around to school, trying to go to a movie with my husband. The real me is traveling all the time on planes and just wanting to feel comfortable and warm on a plane, but just in case like a paparazzi catches me, I look chic still and put together. Now that we're a couple seasons in with Encore, I'm starting to feel the story. So I have my Ponty pants on. These are my black Ponty pants that actually sold really good the other day. Everybody has some kind of coat that they love, their black blazer, whatever. That can always go with so many things. I have these Ponty pants in these different colors. So it's the black, the plum, and the taupe. This is my, my scoop neck top that I'm wearing that is like a underpinning. If you like a rouging, it's great too because then it does a little like this and it kind of conceals some things when you feel like concealing. But your denim top, right? I mean, you could wear this over a bathing suit in the summer or you can wear it, hey, <laughs> or you could wear it like this and it looks just be cool. Denim and denim is cool again. I don't know when that happened, but the other thing about the brand is that it all has to be comfortable. I'm in costumes and wardrobe and makeup and high heels for a lot of my work life. So when I'm not at work, I just want to relax and also get back to myself because there is the sort of performer showman side of me and then there is a more introverted, quieter side that likes cozy things and just you know, be a normal human being. One of my favorite pieces is this corded velour pullover. This is in the plum and it also gets paired with these matching joggers with the elastic on the bottom, which is not too tight with the drawstring. So cute. And this is really good because you can do the mop neck that comes up like this, or you can show a little bit more skin if you feel like it. Honestly, this is what I'm living in every day. Wore this to the recording studio yesterday to work on my new album. Oh yeah, then we have this as the same top. So, and all of this is going. Are you seeing sort of the color palette? So you don't have to think, you don't have to stress out. It's actually really moving to me to walk into my own closet at home and see 
these designs that represent me in a really authentic way. And so to see it hanging here in my own closet is just a real sense of pride. When I'm live on QVC and you see people wearing it and they say people are actually buying it and seeing fans take pictures of it and posting themselves, it's, it's an honor actually. Okay, and before I forget, I just wanna show you this coat that we designed that I'm so excited about. We were on um, the other night and we almost sold out of all of this in black and it comes in this mauve pink. Oh, it's super soft. It's a brush double face knit. Got these buttons with my Encore brand name on it, Encore by Adina Menzel. Horn buttons, really beautiful. This is me. Like this is New York me. This is LA me because people don't realize it gets cold at night in LA. This is like kind of my version of a modern pea coat. It's cool. You know, it's not overly fussy and it's so, so soft and a great collar. And I swear the quality of it for the price is just something I'm really, really proud of. Just wanted you to see this because it's one of my, my faves. Oh, Kara, come here. My sister's here. Um, yay, she's wearing the velour, see? So cute on you! So we have this book tour that we have to get ready for. Okay, so we have to figure out what to wear. We could do this. What do you think? If you wear the blue, mm -hmm. then I could do like grays, I guess. Mm -hmm. We could do this one. I could wear it with some of my jeans from my own closet yep. or some Encore jeans, whatever. I like a crazy boot with this too, like a higher yeah. one. Mm -hmm. Well, this would look pretty if I did the maritime blue velour. And we were kind of like, right? It would look good. Yeah. Yeah, I could do the cream with, oh, I could do my, my uh, purple ponty pants with this. That would look good for a book tour, right? We'll be the most comfortable authors ever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tune in next time for Adina's Closet. Who knows he'll show up in the closet? Woo woo! I think I want to kick out all of these dudes that are in here right now. All right now, get out so I can get back to work. <laughs>